Okay. So, now that this is all dry, it's all dry, um, I'm going to show you what I wanted to do with this space right here, on here. Um, I have just a few colors, um, pinks, two pinks, orange, and yellow. And I'm only going to need a tiny bit. Just a little. Um, the, both the pinks are light pinks, just a yellow and an orange. That one's a little, a little darker. See? Okay, so what I want to do is find the right brush, the brush that I want to use. Um, okay, just going to use a brush like that. And I'm just um, barely, like I don't want, I don't want a ton of color. I mean, I don't want a ton of paint on here. I want it to just be kind of, kind of random, you know? Maybe you'll get what I mean. I'm doing the orange first. Okay, so just just kind of like that. You know, just a little random. Okay, so then I'm going to go to my next color, which I'm going to do the lightest pink. And just kind of mix it in there with it. See, so I'm just kind of shadowing in there. So let's take some yellow. Well, oh, that's pretty bright. But this is beautiful, like sunset colors. A little bit of the dark pink. I'm gonna try to hit the yellow with that. Okay, I like that. Let me hit this with the hair dryer and then I'll show it to you.
Now, hold on one second. I have to get another bowl. Okay, actually, I'm going to use a coffee filter. Oh. Let me dry this off. So I'm not getting this on me. Okay. Boy, I hit my shin. Hit my shin on my chair. So I'm just going to use that. I don't have any... Uh, plate. I'm just going to use a coffee filter to put my paint on. Okay. So, if you can see, actually the lighting is not really that great. That might be better. Okay, just so, just sporadically, randomly right there. Okay, and what I want to do is black palm trees. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what I want to do. But I have to, I have to draw them. Okay, so I want, I know I want a palm tree up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, and now I have not painted a palm tree before, but it looks fairly easy. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to draw my line like that, okay, just kind of fan them out. Okay, and then my stem will come down like that. I kind of wanted some little ones too. Like, And maybe, ouch, oh, oh, ouch. That's what I hit my shin on, not the chair, this table. Um, let's see here. Oh, that smarts. Okay, so if you can see, you probably cannot. My pencil marks. Okay, I got like three, two little ones. Two little palm trees and then a big one in the center. Okay. Ow, dang. So now what I need to do is I need a little tiny, tiny, in very small what happened very small tiny brush okay and I'm going to get some black paint on here on my coffee filter And I am rolling my brush in there so it stays nice and pointed. Okay, and I'm going to have to move this thing around quite a bit. Okay, just so y'all know. As long as you can see, though. You'll be able to see better once I start putting the, 
putting the um the paint on. Okay, so I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna do these lines first. No, they do not have to be perfect. more okay I'm gonna go ahead and do this little one down here that way I can switch it around Okay, I know that doesn't look like much yet, but we're not done. This is going to be very, very pretty, and you're going to see how simple it is to do this. Okay, hold on, i got to move this this way. Try not to get, try not to get black paint on me. Okay, so right now we have what looks like, kind of looks like little spiders on there, okay? So let me, um, let's see, I was thinking I could use a fan brush, possibly, to, um, You know, to do the, um, actually that is pretty much how you do it. So while it's wet, Maybe not. All right, 
it just kind of uh, do your little feathery Just kind of fan them out, feather them out a little bit. See, that's very simple, and that looks really good. Like, real good. Doesn't that look awesome against those colors? Oh my gosh, this is so easy. Why haven't I painted a palm tree before? I'm not kidding. Y'all have to try this, like for real. See that side? And then that side. Okay, now let me do it this way. And then hopefully y'all can see like the pattern that I'm doing. Okay. I'm pretty sure y'all can see. Just swipe it. Okay, and then you want to go the same way. Just like painting up, just like painting a feather. You know, the way a feather is shaped. Oh my gosh, I am so loving this. Oh my God, are you guys loving this? This is so easy. So easy.
I'm hoping y'all can see what I'm doing. Because I am so involved in this. Oh my gosh, this is fun. This is fun. If y'all haven't noticed, I love to paint. Oh my gosh. <coughs> okay. One more and then we can do the trunks. I hope y'all are seeing how easy this is. You have got to try this. Okay. All right, so all of those are done. Now I just have to do the trunks. You want them a little fatter at the bottom. That is super simple. This one's going to have a curved trunk. I like that. Okay, one more truck, and this is done. I am loving this. 
Oh my gosh, you guys gotta paint. You have to paint a palm tree. Oh my gosh. Pretty, pretty. This right here, my truck kind of messed up my, my, um, messed up my palm from. So we will just adjust it. Look at that. See, that took no time. No time at all. With these colors. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then the decoupage that we did earlier. And then all, now all I have to do is seal it. Now, wouldn't that look so cute? Awesome. In, your, in a beach house. By the pool. By the swimming pool. At your tiki bar. Okay. I'm going to seal it when this dries real good. And then I'm going to take pictures. And I'm not sure if I want this to be a leaner or a hanger. So I might have to drill two holes in the top of it. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. If you like this, please share it. Please share it if you like it. Um, and I really, really want you to try it. Okay, y'all have a great night. I love y'all.